So the last part of our index page, or what I'm calling the admin page, is this delete action. We want to delete a record from the database. And what's the best practice for how to do that? Let's look at the code. So I'm going to go into the user controller here and cut and paste this last action. So our destroy action is going to take the model and like we've done in the edit action, we're going to use the find one method of the user model by passing in a param, in this case the ID param, and passing that to the find one method. That's going to either return an error or the particular user that in this case we want to delete. If we get an error, we're going to address it with these two if statements. And actually, I'm going to copy and paste this small message up to our edit action. And if we are able to find this record by the ID, we're going to pass that to the destroy method of the user model, which in turn is either going to work or provide us with an error. And finally, at the end, we're going to redirect the browser to the user index.ejs or admin page. Now let's go back to the index.ejs page. And we have some decisions to make on how we want to implement, in terms of the user interface, the connection between that UI and this delete action. And in that discussion, which begs a little bit of a discussion about HTTP verbs and the RESTful pattern. So all of these links are using the HTTP verb get. So when you click on one of these links, we're sending a get request to this route, slash user slash show, and then the user ID appended to that route. And for a show action, that's appropriate because we're just getting information. It becomes a lot grayer when we're talking about the destroy actions. It's not a best practice to use the get verb to do anything but get information. And so I'm going to show y'all how to use another method that will allow us to use a post instead of get to destroy a record. Now one of the reasons we're having this issue is that we're delivering the views here and rendering them on the server first before they get to the client. In a single page app, we would be making AJAX requests and those AJAX requests have the full range of verbs that you can use to make your requests. However, with a link on a page that's being processed through a browser, we only have access to the get request. Now with a form, we have access to both the get and post verbs. And even using server rendering, we could use something like jQuery to do an AJAX request for this link. Now, I hope I haven't confused everybody. And if you are confused, please leave me a question and I'll try to be more clear in a subsequent post. But what I've chosen to do for the purpose of this screencast is to implement this link as a form. So let's do that. So I'm going to cut and paste the code here and have both of these delete buttons side by side. So we're going to create a form whose action is going to point to slash user slash destroy, so the destroy action, and we're going to append the user ID for the appropriate record in this action. Like I said, the method is going to be post, and then we can use a hidden input field to name a particular method that we want executed when we click submit. So it's as if we're actually using the delete method in terms of what the HTTP server actually thinks we're delivering. And this is considered a better practice than using a get. And actually it makes sense not to use a get. For example, if our app is going to be behind some authentication. But if we didn't have any authentication, and let's say a search engine crawled our app, then there would be links out there that could actually edit our database, and that would be bad. Of course, that's not going to be the case because we are going to have authentication, and if someone attempted to delete a record that wasn't authenticated, they would be unable to do so. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and take this link out and let's see if this works. So I'm going to restart the server and refresh this page and we'll delete the bad guy record because he's a bad guy. Up, oh, and we got an error here. Forbidden. What's going on here? You guessed it. We've got to deal with the CSRF because we're dealing with the form here. It's real easy to fix. We'll just paste in our hidden field for the CSRF token. Go ahead and save that. Let's restart the server. Let's bring up our admin page. And now when I go to delete it, the record's deleted. Okay, in the next screencast, we're ready to start with authentication. So allowing our users to sign in to the application. Thanks for watching.